Mike Lindell, he's an entrepreneur, he's a businessman here in Minnesota. He was on his way back from Iowa. The FBI meeting him here in Minnesota, but this investigation having nothing to do with Minnesota, and depending who you ask, has nothing to do with Lindell. They wanted Mike Lindell's phone. And the phone is what the FBI agents got and what federal investigators now possess, thanks to a search warrant and grand jury subpoena executed Tuesday night in Mankato, Minnesota. Frank Speech, I have my own TV show. Mike Lindell telling us he was on his way back from a day-long hunting trip in Iowa, stopped for a burger and shake at Hardee's, and dinner going much longer than expected. From the, from the side there, and it kind of blocked us in. I could have went around it like that, but I'm going, that's weird. What's this guy doing? He wasn't even what, looking at What kind at of it. car was it? I just, I don't know. Uh, it wasn't like a black SUV like you would think. It's just a, a you know, very casual car, just a, you know, two door, four door. I can't even remember that. I said, so what do you want? You know, and I, you know, kind of short with them, like, uh, this is crazy. What are you following me to some random Hardee's in Minnesota? I said, if you wanted something, why don't you come to my office in Chaska? Lindell sharing these three documents with us, he says the FBI agents gave him. They include one seeking evidence in time for a court hearing in November. According to Lindell, the agents advising him investigators are interested in his interactions with people known for their outspoken mistrust in the 2020 presidential election, an election which was legally won and certified by Congress for Joe Biden. Yeah. Among those, Tina Peters, a clerk in Mesa County, Colorado, who last week pled not guilty to nearly a dozen charges, including felonies. Those allegations? She created fake IDs and granted illegal access to voting equipment. I mean, do you know Tina Peters? I mean, do you even know her well? You said you met her a year ago. Are you close with I met her? At, well, I backed her for running for secretary of state. She ran for secretary of state. These things happen for a reason, and it's good will come out of it. I've done nothing wrong. I'm fully transparent. I've told my whole life story in a book. I don't lie. I don't have to ch I don't have to go on media and worry about what I'm going to say because I say the same thing every time I'm on. In a statement to CBS News, the FBI confirming its agents did execute a search warrant, but added that just because the FBI seeks information, that doesn't mean that person will be charged with a crime. Do you have reason to believe that that you are under investigation? I mean, right no. now, Tina Peters is the only one. Um, no, because you know, I that's haven't. I, I didn't know, because no, because I didn't know any of them people in Colorado. Did back they tell then. you not to have contact with specific people? Did they tell no, you? No, they to said absolutely anywhere? not. They said, "I said, when do I get my phone back?" And they said, "Mike, we're doing our job. We don't know." I said, "You guys should become whistleblowers. You know, you guys are doing wrong things." So, um, were they civil with you? I mean, were they? Yeah, very civil. Very civil. I was probably. I was probably the one mouthing off more than anything because right. I'm going, this is disgusting. Have you gotten any subpoena, a warrant, a request from the U.S. attorney or FBI in D.C.? I oh, know these, of these agents not. were from. Of course uh, not. If I did, I've, I've been telling them, bring it on. I want to bring the evidence there. They won't, they, won't, they won't invite me to their little charade. Where do I go from here? The same thing I do every day for the last year and a half. 18 hours a day I spend trying to get rid of these electronic voting machines every day from morning till night. Dominion Voting Systems and Smartmatic, two companies which produce electronic voting equipment, they're suing Lindell for defamation. His own lawsuits against them have been dismissed, as have numerous claims of election fraud across the country. Jonah Kaplan, CBS News, Minnesota.